So today we're going to be looking at coded data and how it affects variance and standard deviation. So let's consider, um, we've got a data set and if we um, add a constant, this translates the data set, the data, oops, but it has no effect on the spread, so i.e. the variance. So for ungrouped, <coughs> data, the variance for um is well, we know that the variance would be the sum of x squared over the number minus the mean squared. Now, if we have coded data, it is the same. That we, we can use the coded data. So the sum of x minus b squared over n minus the sum of x minus b over n all squared. Um, for group data, we would have for the sum of x squared f over the sum of f minus the mean squared and that is equal to the the coded data set um, variance, so x minus b, oh dear, x minus b, close bracket, squared times the frequency over the sum of the frequency, minus the sum of x minus b times the frequency over the sum of the frequency, all squared. So <laughs> to put that uh, more simply, the, oops, go down here a bit more. So in summary, the variance of x is equal to the variance of the coded data set. Um, and obviously the standard deviation would be the same too. So let's look at some examples of this. So we've got eight values. Of X and they're summarized. By the totals. Sum of X minus 10. Squared is equal to 1490. And the sum of x minus 10 is 100. Then we've got 12 values of y, and they're summarized by um, the totals, the sum of y plus 5 squared is equal to 5139 and the sum of y plus 5 is equal to 234. Find the variance of the 20 values of x and y together. So, firstly, we need to find the, we'll, we'll deal with x first, the, the, the values of x. So we need to find the mean of x. 
So we know that the mean of x would be the sum of x over n and but we have we have the sum of x minus 10 is equal to 100 so we can rearrange this so the sum of x um so that the mean is going to be where I'll write it right over here the mean is going to be the sum of x so it's 100 and this is minus 10 so we bring this over just rearranging it's going to be plus 10 and that's over 8 so that's equal to 22.5 and we know we've got 8 values here so the sum of x must be equal to 8 times this and that's equal to 118 so we can find the variance now we know the variance of x is equal to the variance of x minus 10 and we're going to do this to find our value for so we're looking to find a value of the sum of x squared basically so the variance of x squared is going to be the sum of x minus b squared over n minus the sum of x minus b over n squared So that's going to be 1490 over our 8 minus, now we've got this up here, it's 100 over our 8 squared. So that gives us a variance of 30. Now we know that the, because we know the variance of x and the variance of x minus 10 is, are the same so we can now use the fact that um, the variance of x will be equal to the sum of x squared over n minus the mean squared and we've got all these values so this is going to be equal to 30 which is the sum of x squared over 8 minus 22 point um, five squared and that leads us to rearranging everything sum of x squared is equal to um, four thousand two hundred and ninety now I'm gonna have to get another page up because I've run out of space so now we're going to use I'll write the values for so we've got the 12 values of y and we're given that the sum of y plus 5 squared is equal to 5139 and the sum of y plus 5 is equal to 234. So exactly the same process. So we to find the mean, we would take the coded value of the sum of y plus 5 so it's 234 and there's 12 values this time and so now this is plus 5 so we're going to take away 5 and that gives us 14.5 so the sum of y is going to be 12 times 14.5 which is 174 and again the variance of y is going to be equal to the variance of the coded y which for the coded y we've got our sum of um, y plus 5 squared over n minus the mean of, n of y um, oh no I'll write that's um, 
y plus 5 over n squared. So put, putting in our numbers, we get 5139 over 12 minus 234 over 12 squared, and that gives us 48. <coughs> and we know we can now use our variance of y is going to be 48, and that's equal to the sum of y squared over um, minus the mean of, of y squared, and we can put in what we know. We don't know this. We know that's 12. We know um, the sum of y is 200 and um, this is 14.5 squared. Rearranging, we get the sum of y squared is equal to 3099. Now, Doing all that, we can now add our data sets together. So we've got variance of x and y is going to be equal to the sums of x squared plus the sums of y squared all over the, to the, the 8 plus 12 minus sums of x plus the sum of y over 8 plus 12 squared. Slotting in everything we've just worked out is 4,290 plus 3,099 over 20 minus 180 plus 174 over 20 and that's all going to be squared. And that works out to be 50. 4.616. <coughs> Let's do another one this time with um, <coughs> our <coughs> group data. So it's known. that 20 girls have at least one brother. The number of brothers is x and the information has been coded to give values of x minus 1 and it's we've got it here so we've got x minus 1 is 0 1 2 3 and four. And we've got a number of girls. That's F. There's two, four, eight, five, and one. And we want to use the coded values to find the standard deviation of the number of brothers. So what we'll do is we will extend our frequency table to find all the necessary totals that we need. So next part of it is we want to find x minus 1 multiplied by the frequency. So that's going to be 0, so it'll be 4, 
this is going to be 16, 15, and 4. And then the sum of x minus 1 times the frequency is going to be 39. Next we want x minus 1 squared times f. So x minus 1 squared, 0 is still going to be 0. That's 1, that's still going to be 4. It's going to be 4 times 8 is 32. 3 squared is going to be 9 times 5 is 45 and this will be 16 times 1 is 16. So this is a wee bit horrendous just to keep it all together. Then the sum of x minus 1 squared times f will give us 97. And we want the, oh, there's not room here because I've not given it room series, and the sums of the frequencies will be 20. So we know that the standard deviation of x must be equal to the standard deviation of the coded data. <coughs> and this, so that's going to equal the square root of x minus 1 squared f over the sum of f minus sum of x minus 1 f over the sum of f and all squared. So bring our square root over a bit further. So we've got this over here, so that's 97 over 20 minus 13, 39 over 20 all squared square root all that, working all that out, we get 1.023. So I hope that helps.